It's all right. Relax. I said it's all right. You can relax. Oh, mom, do I have to? Hi, folks. Brainstorm here, coming at you in a lovely 30-something degree weather in Alabama. 33 degrees. 33 degrees! When it gets cold in Alabama, if it snows, if the snow sticks and survives the humidity down here, then that's something. That's like a once every 10 years kind of thing in Alabama. And everything stops. We don't have no snowshoes in Alabama, do we, Mom? No? No. <laughs> no, boots. I got a pair of boots. There ain't no snow plows or salting machines down south. We, and, uh, we did build a snowmill and found down here and build that. It's snow very heavy. I remember a couple times over the years and the many years we, you know, lived in this area that it, it snowed pretty heavily and then uh, we actually got to make these big muddy snowmen and snow angels in the snow. Today I always want to visit mama. We usually like to do some cooking like what's cooking with nanny. Now this is my precious mama. She's what how old are you now mama? 82. October 83. 82. Almost 83 years old and looking good as ever. I come in and say what's cooking good looking but today we're not cooking. We're just gonna say what's cooking with Nanny. So what's cooking today, Nanny? You just I know I done turned it off. You done turned the cooking off? Yeah. <laughs> you don't never eat much yourself I ever see. I can't eat much. Yeah. I That's all right. I have to eat twice that you know, twice a day in the morning, twice in the evening. Yeah. I don't eat no supper. Cause my stomach. Well, I understand that because we all got our are things that we can eat or can't eat, but or we shouldn't or shouldn't eat because of these big fluffy guys like me. She doesn't like it when I get my hair cut short. She don't like it. She says it makes my my head, my face look bigger. <laughs> but I I've been sharing the positive of the month of February. Every every day in the month of February, I've been sharing a positive video, positive shorts, positive share with y'all to give you some creative distractions. You know, so like I always say, whether you're laughing with me. Or whether you're laughing at me, at least you're laughing, right? And and laughter is a good medicine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. If you, if you can't laugh, then sometimes you want to cry, and it's better to laugh, I think. But um, it, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be a, a proper share of the positive anything without sharing my mama with you because she is a positive love in my life influence, and I appreciate you so much, mama. You just don't even know. You're kind of popular. Everybody keeps asking me. When are you going to do another episode with, with Nanny? Cooking with Nanny. Everybody likes that. The biscuits and uh, salmon patties. They were talking about that the other day. So that was pretty cool. I just want to chat with you. You know, this lady right here is a hardworking lady. You don't know. She's survived. In the last couple of years, she survived breast cancer. She just kicked it right in the face. Punched it right in the face. And this past Christmas, you had a problem with uh, that old COVID mess, didn't you? And she kicked it. Well, anyway, <laughs> she got she came through it, and she's still with us, and that's a positive thing. I really appreciate. It. Well, I'm glad that you're still here with us. And keep fighting. You ain't got. She gets her best work done in the mornings, and then she likes to have to be in the evening. She's in the bed watching Hallmark movies. That's good. What did you say your favorite color was? You said purple. Purple. Purple's my favorite color too. I didn't even know that was your favorite color. And that's something you should know. I think if you have a beautiful mama like this, you should know what her favorite color is. What's your favorite kind of food? Vegetables, greens, Good stuff. <laughs> I like vegetables, fresh vegetables. And it's funny how, <coughs> bless you, that your taste buds change as you get older. Because you remember, I used to hate coleslaw. I hated it with a passion. And now I love it. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I like coleslaw. I don't know where that came from. Um, I didn't like tomatoes either, really. I, and I started, I love tomatoes now. Um, put a little ketchup on that tomato biscuit. 
Put yeah. a biscuit and a slice of tomato and a little ketchup and salt and pepper. That's good stuff right there. Um, Daddy, he loved to eat some food too, let me tell you. And then he would get that big old tin plate of his and he liked the juice. And he'd pour it. He'd just pour juice and beans and all together in one big, big bowl plate. And he'd be just reading his Louis L'Amour books, not even paying attention. Sit there eating. And, uh, yeah, he would, wouldn't he? Yeah, he was asleep. I'm asleep. I miss him a lot. I miss him. I miss his humor, his, his, his funny stories. And I'm trying to share those here sometimes with, with the good folks in YouTube land. And, and they all appreciate, um, yes, ma'am. Mama's a good cook, but she wasn't a big sewer. I don't think I remember ever seeing you sew too much. <laughs> it's like your sisters and everybody be around the quilt and be, the quilting frame. I never quilt. Now. We put the frames up there. Yeah, the quilting frame. That, that, I see that. It's still up there, isn't it? Yeah. I forgot about and that. And that's the saw you used to have to saw with over there. Yes, ma'am. That, that big old... Uh, I could outside huh? my daddy. Yeah. One of those big old two men saws that go back and forth. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'll, I'll show you all that in a minute. But I thought before I go, before I say goodbye to the folks out there and you can say goodbye to them. Don't forget, look down on your right. If you haven't subscribed, make our day, make Nanny's day, make that red button gray and subscribe to this channel because we really would appreciate it. I have these vegan, that vegan, this means, I don't know what that means when it comes to puffs, puffs. It means a sorghum based Brussels sprout puffs. Look at that. I found these at Publix the other day and I thought we'd try these together, okay? It's Vegan Rob's Sorghum Baked Puffs. Brussels Sprout Puffs. I love some Brussels Sprouts. Don't get me wrong. You don't have to be vegan to enjoy vegan foods. I guess that's true. Alright, let's see. You ever have one of those plant burgers that's not meat? No, I don't think so. You just try them, Nick. You know, they got a bad rap, I think, but a lot of the places like Burger King and places like that have these Beyond Burgers or these, uh, make, whatever they call them, I forgot what they call them at Burger King, but they have these fake burgers that look like meat, but they're plant-based. Mm -hmm. They're not bad, actually. They look and taste just like meat. But you want to try that Brussels sprout puff? It's definitely crunchy. What you think? Don't have much flavor to it, though. Same for snack, you know, it's not it is healthy. Yeah, it is healthier for you, I guess. Yeah, supposedly. It is good, though. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm surprised. They had in Publix. They had a couple of different versions. They had a cauliflower one, a beets one, and then they had this Brussels sprouts. And I thought, oh, I like Brussels sprouts, so. Yeah. There's that quilting frame up there, tucked away in the corner. That belonged to your sister, didn't it? Well, no, it belonged to his right now. Oh, it belonged to my daddy's mama. Uh, yeah, he come work, and then somebody else had it before she did. And I used to help her roll the quilts, and you know, when she tack them. She was a sweet mother-in-law, I think she was. I remember she would wear those bonnets. And have an apron on all the time. Glenn Brown, no, she is no wear no pants. She wore stockings and dresses and made her own dresses. I never see you wear dresses too much though. Uh, cause my legs is in bad shape. See, they got this. They done surgery on that one. They had to put a man's part in there because they cut so much and they had to put a lot of trouble. They replaced your knee. They replaced yeah, both. You got both knees have been a big place. Yeah. You got both of them replaced. That's right. Yeah. I like your haircut though. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I like it. I was surprised it didn't take me, you know me. I'm sick of that all the time. Oh come on, I think I think you do pretty good for someone who uh so tiny and keeps shrinking. I don't know why you keep shrinking. I ain't shrinking. You're getting better with age, huh? I I remember you telling me the story about um when I was born how I wanted to come out backwards. Yeah, you won't come feet first. I kept turning you two, two or three times. 
And you were the turn to life, baby. My body was turned to life. Yeah, you were almost 40, weren't you, when you and had me? When I told your daddy about it, no, you ain't pregnant. And I said, yes, I am. Because he had the surgery. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He, he had, he'd had a vasectomy? Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. I had no idea that he had already had But it was his. <laughs> of course. I look just he like him. He still had some back, you know. From That's something else. I didn't know that. I don't think you've ever told me that. Well, it just goes to show you. It just goes to show you can't be certain of nothing, can you? <laughs> good Lord, good Lord, truly intended for you to have me. And even as stubborn as I was, trying to come out backwards, you've been trying to keep me straight ever since then. This painting, I found that in a storage building that I worked on with my daddy years ago when we were cleaning it out for these people and putting on a new roof on it. So this Jesus painting, they gave it to me. I asked them if I could have it. It has been around a long time, hanging somewhere. But Jesus on the mount, uh, looking down over the city. We, uh, back in my day, back in the day in my youth, we put puzzles together all the time. This porch used to be full of puzzles. And, uh, Daddy would glue them up on the board. And, uh, yeah, so we used to, there wasn't no internet. There wasn't no, uh, Facebook or YouTube. <laughs> you, you sit around a table putting a puzzle together. Sometimes if you dropped it, you might have put it together two or three times. But this is that saw that was her, her daddy's saw, uh, one of those big old cross-cutting saws that takes a couple people. We had to use that once, actually, to uh, saw up a tree that fell back when a hurricane came through and we lost power. Maybe I got that video footage somewhere. I'll have to see. There's Daddy right there on the old wood stove. Yeah. I did that picture for a photo contest. It, it didn't win any awards, but it, it was fun to take. Got him all dressed up. But... Yeah, Daddy, he was a ham. He liked to tell a good joke and laugh. Um, but he did that for me. Um, it's a lost start these days, all these old-fashioned things. And then you got the Last Supper. Well, and that's, that's pretty old, too. This one's probably, on what, 10, 20 years old? Yeah, it took a while to get that one together, I remember. There used to be puzzles all around this porch. There's one over there still that still exists for the birds. There used to be puzzles just full everywhere, and they've fallen off over the years. There was one big 5,000-piece one that used to be right there that uh, fell off the, all over the place. The most, I have the and on this porch. You just listen to the preachers on the radio, huh? Richard, listen to it. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys. You just got to show you, you need to listen to your elders because they know a thing or two. They've learned a thing or two. You've seen a few presidents, haven't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for visiting with us as uh, this beautiful lady right here. She, uh, she's a beautiful lady. I uh, Thank you, Mom. Thank you. All right. Y'all have a good day. Be safe. God bless. And see you next time. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>